Right. Jumping off that basil, I'm going to jump to crude oil real quick. We got 1025. We get the crude EIA numbers at 1030. Crude, quite a market as well. Yesterday, we got some huge action, negative and positive. Tuesday, we spiked to a low of 55.19. You actually trade from about mm, 24 hours from 10 a.m. yesterday up to above $57, so $2 to the upside by 9.30 this morning. You got crude trading at 56.74 right now. And I'm just gonna take a look, Basil, real quick in terms of what kind of premiums they're pricing into this market as we get that volatility. Jumping into crude, I'm gonna take a quick glance at even the 11 AMs. We're looking at 56.75 right now. And we have a couple contracts that line up pretty nicely with exposure to the upside from 56.75. And we're trading at 56.76 right now. So within a penny of where that contract begins at, you're paying about 20 cents in premium for the bullish side. You're gonna be paying a pretty consi um, consistent 20 cents to the negative side. And so you're looking about $40 or it'd be about 40 cents, Basil, from where we're trading at right now. And that's the 11 a.m. So you're only giving yourself about a half hour. But anytime you got oil, oil's really been rocking. It's been trading you with- know, I I, over the last couple of days, I've kind of liked oil. I know it's in a training band and it's just made a peak D in the Chapman wave on the 10 minute chart. But I, to tell you the truth, I think that uh, going to the uh, going to the crude oil daily chart, I drew this in the other day. I put in a rectangle formation between 57.42, the high of the 13th of August in the continuous contract. Look at that. And then on the 15th, it made a low of 53.72. And I made this rectangle. And I said, you know, a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. We've seen that many times. So I think crude oil is doing quite nicely here. I wouldn't be surprised if it has a little pop. Hey, we're up, we're up $2. Excuse me, $2 in the last 24 hours. We get those EIA numbers when we come right back, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien joined by Basil Chapman this morning. So we have the EIA crude oil stocks at a minus 2.7 million barrels. The estimate was for a decline of about 1.9. I get the chart up here, Basil. No real reaction off the bat. We were sitting at 56.76 about. You have the market spike a bit lower. We'll zoom it in a bit. This is a five-minute bar. We spiked to 56.58 but we're within about seven pennies of where we started, 56.81 right now in the price of that crude contract as we see where we go, as we have the inventories again coming in at a decline of 2.7 million barrels. The estimate was somewhere between about 1.5 and 1.9 decline, so a little bit less crude. We got, folks, if you haven't checked out the DEN, I got all these DEN members. They're putting all that good information in there. You have gasoline with a rise of 312,000 barrels. The estimate was about a decline of 200. Um, so we'll see what happens, but pretty muted response right now so far, Basil. We'll see where we go, but 56.74. Maybe that crew contract's just going to hang out in that box that you got. I think uh, I, you know, that's, what I, that's what I would anticipate. And one of the reasons is that uh, with the economy still acting pretty well, I don't really see why crude oil should start to decline under the 52 level. Of course, the famous words, you never know. Right. right? But I think it should hold steady. In fact, I, it will, I would not be surprised if it rallies just a little bit and they get stuck in the range. It's been resilient, um, for sure. I mean, I, I come in resilient. this... I come in this morning, it was above 57. It seems like I'm constantly lately surprised uh, to the upside almost as you added trade all the way from, you know, you have the chart up there from above 60 bucks to almost approaching 50. And then boom, before you know it, we're up $7. And folks, $7 when crude was at 50, 52. I see that C point down there, Basil, on the daily. Right. Um, and man, $7 on a $50 price of crude, folks. You're talking about, you know, 14% on the, on the price of a barrel of crude, which just is a mammoth move when you think about how much crude we use across the globe on a Correct. daily basis. But it, also, it also brings me to a point that says, if you look at this weekly chart, let's forget about the right side with the, with the monthly, but the weekly chart, it really shows you that it's been stuck in a range for about almost a year. Yeah. A, a very whippy range. But if you look at it in the context of where it had been back in 2000, October of 2018, yeah, that in the 78 area, dropping down to the 42. Whew, man, I know, right? <laughs> you know, this is really a very, very mild move over the last, certainly the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So yep. no, I, I think I, that's a good sign. I completely agree because that move, and it's when we saw the markets falling apart. So I agree, you know, as the economy is doing well. Um, you saw that really fear come into the market just, what, Christmas Eve of 2018, and that's right where you had crude 
collapsing with the market on economic woes, economic fears. And uh, we've seen a nice rebound from that because, man, there was really some fear as it hit that uh, 4260, which is just a mind-bending number when you think of where we are in crude right now. We're almost at 57.